In this video, I'll show you how to take your Amazon merch listings, export them into Flying Upload, and then utilize them on many different marketplaces. This is a method that's ideal for anyone who's been selling on Amazon Merch for a while, who's got a lot of listings on there and wants to expand to other platforms. So let's jump straight into it. First of all, you need to have Productor for Merch by Amazon installed for this to work. This is a free Chrome extension with so many different cool time-saving features and analytics features. So the link to it will be in the description. I highly recommend you check it out. And I've also got a video walking you through many different features that this tool has. So if you're new to Productor, that video is a must watch. Next up, you need to head to your Merch by Amazon account and you will notice some extra tabs up here. These have all been added by Productor and we want to head to the products tab in this case, which will open up your database of all of your different ASINs and listings. Now, a few filters that need to be applied for this to work more easily are, first of all, the status. So if we click into this little hamburger menu right here, we need to only see the live products. So in your case, if everything is selected, click on select all and then click on live and then we want to move on to products. Next, make sure to only have standard t-shirts selected. And if you scroll across with this bar at the bottom to marketplaces, only select the American marketplace. If you're focusing on a different marketplace or a different language, obviously you can, you can do it differently. But in this case, with this example, I would like to focus on the US listings. And a quick tip, you can actually also save this layout for any future exports so that you don't have to, you know, configure all of these different settings again. You can do that with this drop down right here. You can just click on save layout and a little box will pop up to give this layout a name. So I've given this the name of flying upload, as you can see right here, to quickly apply it once all of the filters have been reset. So in my case, everything is blurred right here, the ASINs and the titles, but what I would recommend to you is search for a specific brand name or maybe some phrase that I have in your title to pick out one specific niche at a time. Don't just download, you know, 10,000 listings at once and do this. It will be easier if you keep them grouped by a certain topic or a specific niche. And once you've filtered that through with these buttons right here and gotten a more condensed list of results, you can then select them individually or you can, you know, select all like this. Once you're done selecting the products that you want to sell on other marketplaces through Flying Upload, you then need to head over to this export selected function. And we want to choose, if you scroll down, we want to choose products with designs in brackets Excel. So this is the one you need to click on. You'll get a quick bar that's loading. It might take longer if you've got a lot of designs. And then you want to save this somewhere on your device, ideally somewhere you can easily find it in a specific folder. Let's say if this was like the, I don't know, animal niche, that's very broad, but you know, you get the gist. Name the folder according to whatever niche you're downloading right here, open this up and save the files in there. And now we get to the interesting part. So you need to have both the zip file and the Excel spreadsheet in the same folder. So the animal folder I just created, I've got them both in here. This holds all of your designs and this holds all of your listing data. And now if we have flying upload opened as well next to that, it will open up like this. That's the home screen. But if you click on to edit, you will get into the listings side of things. And this is where we would usually manually create the listings. And then all you have to do is drag and drop your spreadsheet into this left side. And there we go. The design's been imported, the title, description, and tags are filled in, and you've saved yourself a ton of time. I've only done this with six listings right here as an example, but you could do it with 100, 500. You know, if you've got scalable designs, you can save a tremendous amount of time if you've already created the listings on Merch. And if the description is empty for you, that's because you do not have a description on Amazon Merch. You've only filled in the bullet points, perhaps. And a quick way to fix this is go into the spreadsheet and just copy one of the bullet points into the description field. You can do that with like two or three clicks and then it will work. Now the designs right here and the, the listing data is blurred out because these are actually my live designs. However, what you can do is you can click through these and just quickly make sure that these settings or the options at the bottom are correct because by default, it will just go to black men and women. So if one of your designs actually is optimized for white t-shirts, you would have to enable that or change that down here. And then once you're done, 
go back with this little arrow, click on upload, and there we go. If you've got your templates configured, which I actually go through in a, in a different video, you can now start uploading these listings instantly to lots of different marketplaces. What a massive time saver if you've got Flying Upload. I think this won't work with the free version. I'm guessing this is a, a paid feature within Flying Upload, but I will have an affiliate link in the description, which should instantly give you a 20% discount code, should be automatically applied if you follow that link. So I hope that helps you out. Producta is free. If you've got merch for Amazon, this can quickly expand your income and I hope it helps you out. If you hate wasting time uploading your designs every single day, then you will definitely benefit from watching this video next, which is my flying upload overview, which will help you get started.